Hey y'all, it's Sarah. Let's do an Alta haul. It has been a while since I've done an Alta haul because it's been a while since I've bought anything from Ulta or really kind of makeup in general, but I spent quite a bit of money last weekend. I was finally at the point where I was running out of things and I had to go to Ulta uh, and they had a pretty good sale on. So I want to go ahead and show you what I picked up. Some of the things are things that I just routinely pick up and I was running out of. And then I did pick up a couple of new things to try. So uh, the first thing, let me see, I think it's here on top. We, um, the first thing is they had a sale on the, um, ColourPop. It was like buy one, get one 50% off, I think. Um, yeah, buy one, get one 50 so I ended up picking up four, uh, four things that were actually properly ColourPop and then one item from 4th Ray Beauty, which of course we know is like the sister to um, ColourPop. So um, two of the things that I picked up <clears throat> were the same. I picked up two of the Hyaluronic Acid setting mist. I really, really like these. I've gone through a couple of bottles now. Um, I'll show you what, uh, I'll show you what they look like. So they look kind of like this peachy sort of cloudy liquid. They're not clear. Um, but of course, you know, once you spray it on, there's no, uh, there's no like shade or anything like that. It's truly just a setting mist. Um, uh, but I like it a lot. I, um, I have been, I, I ran out of the one that I had and then I just couldn't get to Ulta and I didn't have a big enough order that I, um, you know, to get free shipping online. And so I picked up one of the um, hard candy uh, setting sprays from Walmart and that was fine, but they all seem to have a really strong scent to them and I didn't love that. So this is the one that I prefer. Um, it's the hyaluronic acid. The ColourPop does have a couple of different um, setting sprays, but the one that I like is the hyaluronic acid, and this one is typically $12. So like I said, um, it was buy one, get one 50, so basically one was $12 and one was six, or like average $9 a piece. The next two items that I got from um, ColourPop, one of them I have used before. This is the Pretty Fresh, um, oh, are these, everything that I bought was in the Pretty Fresh collection. Didn't realize that. Um, but this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid, okay, so we're seeing a trend here, uh, Tinted Moisturizer. And this one I have also used before. This is in shade Light H. N. Um, and I do really like this. There is a very subtle um, tint to it. I mean, it is a tinted moisturizer. It is, the tint is very subtle. I do feel like it is a perfect match for me. When I put this on, it absolutely blends in perfectly. And I just feel like it gives just a little bit more polish or smoothness to the skin. I can tend to have um, a little bit of redness and, you know, just some, I'm getting older. I mean, we all are, hopefully. Um, but, you know, I can, I can tend to have some, um, just a little bit of redness or splotchiness and I've got gigantic pores. So I do like that this just sort of evens me out a little bit. And like I say, it is a, an absolute perfect match for me. Um, I did want a little something heavier or thicker, I guess, maybe. I, uh, fuller coverage. There we go. There's the, the beauty YouTuber term for it. Uh, I wanted something a little bit more full coverage for when, you know, I have a nicer event or, um, you know, just whatever, when I wanted something more than a tinted moisturizer. So I did the shade matching on the Ulta website, and I put in that I use Light HN 
for the tinted moisturizer and it told me that the shade that I should use in the hyaluronic hydrating foundation is light 55 N now here's my question not just to ColourPop but to literally every brand out there if these are the same color why not call them the same thing honestly like what <laughs> just make your brand accessible if there's 27 shades in the moisturizer then make there be 27 matching shades in the you know like, I don't know anyway I, I don't even know if I like this so I don't even know if I'll buy it again but uh light 55 n apparently is my shade so let's see how well just visually how well this matches um okay I don't know if you're going to be able to see a difference on camera uh they look pretty close I do feel like the 55 the foundation does look a little bit lighter but I also don't know if that's just you know because of the packaging um but we will see I will try the uh I will try the foundation I do start a new job in a few days super excited about that um, and so that was one of the driving factors of, you know, why I wanted to get a little bit, uh, fuller coverage of a foundation. I, I have to get headshots taken my first day in the office. So, uh, so I'll probably end up wearing this. I should probably try it though, before I go and get pictures taken in it. So y'all are just hearing me work through this as I'm talking to you. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll wear this to church on Sunday and then if it looks good and it wears nicely, then I'll, maybe I'll wear it for my new uh, for my new photos, uh, my new job on Monday. So that's the deal. Uh, buy one, get one 50 on these. So the foundation was $16 originally. And then the, I guess, is this what they call the skin tint? Light HN, yes. So this is 15, this is 16 regularly. So this was, I'm sure the one that was a little bit cheaper is the one that they got gave me 50% off on. Okay, I'll put these, whoop, I'll put these all nicely back in the boxes later. Um, so that was my ColourPop haul. And then as I mentioned, I did get something from 4th Ray Beauty, which is the sister to ColourPop. And I'm not going to open, well, I can open it up. I just won't, I won't open the, 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 uh, not the tube. Oh my God the pot. Jeez, Sarah. Um, so what I got is the fourth ray beauty coconut overnight lip mask. And this is a little pot of lip mask. And I have not used the coconut one before. The reason I don't want to open this is because it's a gift. So I should say that that's geez, complete a thought. Um, this is what the pot looks like. And so these came out after all of those really expensive ones came out. This came out after Laneige came out with, you know, their different ones. Um, and so fourth ray beauty has coconut, which I've never tried. Uh, they have strawberry, which I have tried and I loved, and that's actually in my project 10 pan. Um, it's either in my Project 10 pan or in my lip service. It's probably in lip service. Uh, and then they have a watermelon, which I think is the one that I'm going to try next. But I didn't want to open this one up initially because this is going to be a gift for my son's teacher. She really likes coconut, and this is absolutely my favorite lip mask. Um, so I'm hoping that she will enjoy this as well. We have teacher appreciation coming up in just a couple of days and so, or just a couple of weeks, I should say. Um, so yeah, I'm hopeful that she will really enjoy this because like I said, that is absolutely my favorite lip mask. So that is, let me see what the price is on that. Look at this. We're starting to get like CVS here, Ulta. I didn't buy that much stuff, but we're starting to get like this huge. Um, okay. That one is the lip mask coconut. So that one's 10 bucks. Wow. Okay. That's really gone up. I feel like it was $8 the last time I bought it and now it's 10 Okay. Wow. Well, you're awfully proud of that lip mask, uh, for three beauty. And listen, it's still cheaper than Laneige. You can buy two and a half of those 
you know, Laneige is $24 and that's 10 bucks. So I should probably, whatever, I should stop complaining. Okay. The next thing I bought, super essential item for me, and they never have these in stock in my store anymore. These are, um, they're called the premium pillow cotton pads. And I cannot tell you how many packages of these I have bought. They are a rectangular shape and they're very, very soft. They have kind of the same texture as the um, Shiseido ones, but uh, these are a little bit thicker than the Shiseido um, cotton pads. So I like these a whole lot. They're way cheaper than Shiseido because these are $4.99 for one package. Um, so basically 10 bucks for all of this. And I think the Shiseido ones are like maybe 20 for a package or something. Uh, anyway, I obviously we were sticking very heavily to like the non-luxury brand side of Ulta. Not the, what do they call those prestige brands on the one side? Yeah, we weren't on that side of the store this time. We were definitely sticking over more by the Ulta brands and the drugstore side. Um, Cause you know, that's pretty much what I love. I love to splurge every now and then, but I mean, like I said, I've found some of my favorite items, you know, on the, the cheaper, just average, drugstore side of the of the store so um yeah including these these i will buy over and over and over and over again and like i said they very seldom have these in store i actually was on another side of town doing some shopping so i just ran into this alta uh that's over there where i don't normally shop and so that was evidently why they had some in stock and since they had to Yes, I did go ahead and wipe them out. I don't usually like to do that, um, but they'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, this is another kind of revamp of a product that I buy over and over and over again. I have tried very fancy cleansing balms. I have tried very fancy cleansing waters. I have tried very fancy micellar waters. I keep coming back to the Garnier. I really like this. I have bought just the regular old traditional, I think the original kind was the one with the pink cap on it. I've bought that over and over and over again. Although I did start to wear waterproof um, mascara. So I tried this, the giant bottle of the waterproof um, micellar water last time with the blue cap. And I have to be honest, I didn't love it. So this time I saw another new, a new one. They have like, this might be the fourth or fifth one. They have the regular pink one. They have the waterproof remover, which is blue. Now they have a yellow one, which I can't remember what's in that. It's like vitamin C or something like that. Um, and now we have this green one. And so this is, it is the value size. So there's, there's a, you know, a couple different sizes you can choose. This is value size. Um, and this is with hyaluronic acid plus aloe. And it says it's an all in one replump. Now, I don't know how much hyaluronic acid is in here. So I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference. Um, I guess I should have looked because it says caution, avoid getting in eyes, rinse eyes thoroughly if contact occurs. Uh, oh, no, it does say face, lips, and eyes. Okay, I was real nervous for a minute because that's primarily where I use these is to take all my eye makeup off. Uh, so this says all-in-one replump. It says it cleanses plus removes makeup plus skin looks replumped. Now, like I said, I don't know if the concentration of hyaluronic acid in here is enough to actually do it, or if this is just a gimmick, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, it says no rinse, no rubbing, no residue, um, all skin types, even sensitive. And I, if you guys remember a couple of years back, I had a terrible allergic reaction to um, some sunscreen on my face and my face plumped up like this big and I couldn't open my eyes and I had to go to the doctor 
um, like emergency because my throat closed up um, and I couldn't breathe very well. So I have extremely sensitive skin. I am very sensitive to lots of different things, lots of different additives, fragrances, and things like that that they put into makeup and skincare. I still don't know why anyone puts fragrance in skincare and in makeup. I don't know. I don't know. I will never understand that. But uh, this one is safe for sensitive skin, so I'm going to try this out. Hopefully it will replump me and take, you know, I would take seven years off, you know, that would, that would be nice if I looked seven years younger. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try this one. I do love the Garnier Micellar Waters, so hopefully that is a good choice. Next, um, I've only got a couple more items, and um, when I got this lip mask for my son's teacher. I really wanted to try the water watermelon one for myself because like I said, I'm using the strawberry right now. Um, so I was going to get her a coconut and me a watermelon. And this was literally the last one that they had in the store. They didn't have any of the other flavors and they didn't even have any more coconut. So we ended up with this one. So I still wanted to get something, um, you know, just something for my lips that I could take on the go. I ended up getting this Ulta. Um, <clears throat> this is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I just remembered, I didn't tell you, um, I didn't tell you how much this micellar water cost. So let me do that. Um, setting mist. Okay, so that was $13.49 before all of the discounts and coupons and all that good stuff. Um, okay, now moving on. I ended up getting this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. I hope this smells as good as it sounds because I got jojoba and peach. They had like a tangerine one, which I almost got. Then they had one that was like a cherry... Um, and they had a couple of other ones. I think they had like four or five different flavors and scents. Um, but this one was the jojoba and peach. And I thought that sounded really good. So I'm very hopeful. You know what? Let's just go ahead and open it and uh, see if it smells good. How in the world? Okay. I'm not good at opening things. And I got these freaking fake nails last week. And I now I really can't open stuff. Um... Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. Let's try it. Wow, it's really stuck on there. Oh, I thought this was like a rollerball. It's not. It's a wand. Whoa. Y'all? Oh, this smells so good. This is like the perfect Georgia peach. Yeah, this smells really, really nice. Very sweet. Very like juicy smelling, you know. Um, and it has this little, it's like one of these flat applicators. I mean, it's white, so I don't even know if you'll be able to see it that well. Um, but I've seen these before where it's still that doe foot because it still has that like fuzzy texture on it, but it's flat instead of being, um, you know, like your traditional angled kind of plumper um, applicator. So that is interesting. I don't want to put any on right now just simply for the fact that I just put on this lipstick and I don't want to have like seven different layers on my lips. Um, but I will try that and I will let y'all know what I think. It smells awesome. So hopefully it, it it's supposed to keep your lips hydrated. It is a lip oil rather than just a lip gloss. Um, so hopefully that will, yeah, hopefully that will keep me good and hydrated. All right, the last thing that I got, oh, and that lip oil was $10. Uh, 
So the last thing that I got, maybe I got swindled here. I have no idea, but I have absolutely terrible allergies. I mean, I've already talked about my sensitive skin and my allergic reaction that I had, but even just like environmental allergies, Texas hates me, basically. We go through different, um, different seasons of, I mean, it's like instead of, spring, summer, fall, winter. It's like, what's the season? Ragweed, pollen, uh, you know, like it's just, it's awful. So, um, so I pretty much have seasonal allergies nine to 10 months out of the year, but I saw, so I've been doing some like, um, lymphatic massage and that has helped some, but I only, I only ever do that like with my hands, with my fingers, right? So I was watching some of these videos um, a couple of weeks ago and I found some, uh, I found some people on like TikTok and then I went to the YouTube rabbit hole and looked up some other videos on Gua Sha and they're using this tool, which this is what the tool looks like. And you literally will like take that groove and put it in your jaw and like massage up your jaw and then you'll like put it under your eyes and like massage here under your eyes. And that's typically what I do like when I am doing my sinus massage. I will focus here on the on the uh the sinus cavities under my eyes and like in my forehead. And you know, then you have like these uh, lymphs, uh, lymph nodes down here. So yes, I realize this is getting like very technical, but um, the, the videos that I've been watching have said that the Gua Sha massage is very good for soothing inflammation. If you do it consistently, you will notice that your um, your face won't be as inflamed. Um, and so that's really what I'm hoping for here. Like, yes, it would be great if I looked like I, you know, like if I looked like my face was skinnier because I have these gigantic chipmunk cheeks here. So it would look, it would be great if my face looked thinner, but really what I'm hoping to gain from this is just some relief from these crazy sinus issues that I have. Um, and I am very soon going, um, I've had some like health tests run recently and stuff. And so I'm going to have many lifestyle changes that will be coming up. Uh, and let me know if you, you know, if you kind of want me to walk through that with you, I would love the support. Um, and I would love to, you know, just kind of share that in case there's anybody else who's, uh, you know, who's in my, my same situation who can, you know, kind of use a, a, a sister to come along with her. So, um, but I am going to be trying this. Uh, I will likely be including this in my nighttime routine uh, and just see, you know, if there's any relief that comes from doing the massage, um, it, whether I can visibly see the reduction in inflammation or even if, like I said, it's just the relief that I feel um, of the, you know, congestion and the swelling Either way, I think it's a win. Like I said, I hope I didn't just get swindled. I hope this is, you know, a genuine tool that can help me. Um, but let me know if you have used this or if you have, you know, seen anything like this. Because um, I'm curious to, I, I don't know anyone in real life that has, uh, you know, any experience with it. So I would love to, you know, hear any tips that you have um, or any experiences that you have had uh, doing this type of massage as well. Um, let's see. Oh, so, um, that the Gua Sha tool was $16. So the last item that I got, I got it while I was at the store, but it was a freebie. Um, you know, every time you go into Ulta, if you're like me, then, you know, they, they're constantly telling me like, Hey, you're pre-approved for the Ulta credit card. And I never do it. Cause every time I go in there, it's like, Oh, okay. So my $13, 
you know, my cellar water. Oh, hooray, I'm going to get 20% off of that or whatever, you know. So it's not, it's just never really been worth it to me. Um, but this time I had a pretty good size order and they told me, they said, you know, you're, you're pre-approved for the Ulta credit card. And if you, you know, everything that you buy today is 20% off. Well, I had a hundred dollar order. So I was going to get $20 worth of products for free. So to me, I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of worth it, you know? Um, so I ended up getting, you know, the ColourPop stuff was buy one, get one 50% off. Then I got 20% off my whole order. Then I had, I think like 200 Ulta points to use. So that was another $6 off of my order. So when I applied for and was approved for the credit card, um, besides the 20% off, I did get a free gift. And at first I was like, uh, okay, these are like super bright, hot pink and like a little bit obnoxious looking. And I don't really know that I need them or, you know, that I will use them. But then I started thinking about how many times we go to the pool or we play outside in the water or, you know, my, my son wants to do swimming again this summer, uh, swimming lessons again. And so I started thinking, you know, it might be handy to have another pair. Oh my God, I'm trying to take them out and they're impossible. Um, it might be handy to have another pair of slides. So I got free these Juicy Couture hot pink slides and I haven't tried them on yet. Let's see if they fit. Um, and oh wow, they fit perfectly. Okay, cool. So this is my size. Uh, so I got these for free. And like I said, I, it wasn't something that I purchased. I didn't really care all that much about them, but I do feel like I will get some good use out of them. I think it's super appropriate to have them in the spring because then, you know, you can run around in them all summer. And if you're in Texas or anywhere in the South, you can probably run around in them in the fall too, because stays warm here till like the beginning of November. Uh, so that was my final item that I picked up at Ulta. And of course, as I said, those were free. So all told between the buy one 50%, the 20% off my order, plus the $6 in Ulta points that I redeemed, I ended up spending $71.80 total, but my total savings was $48.13. So definitely, I mean, like I said, I was overdue for a trip to Ulta. I still probably will get online and see if I can find a couple more of these lip masks. Um, my son does have one main teacher and then they have like an afternoon teacher that comes in after all of their instruction is done and they basically do like the daycare portion of it. So I'd like to pick something up for her as well. Um, and then, you know, I'll get a couple of other like just fun little treats and things. So um, I likely will be placing another order online. It will be much smaller than this one. Um, but I hadn't done an Ulta order in a while, so I thought it would just be fun to show you what I am buying lately and what I'm loving and what I'm using over and over and over again, because almost all of these things were repeat purchases. So. Be sure to tell me what you have been loving from Ulta or what I should check out next time I'm either in the store or placing an order online. Check out my links down below for my Instagram and my other follows on Goodreads. Uh, also, my Buy Me a Coffee link is down there as well as a Book of the Month referral link. I'd love it if you would subscribe and like this video, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.